Hey, how you doing? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Winners of one of the world's most prestigious awards, the Nobel Prize, are being announced this week. Michelle takes a look at today's recipients and why the awards are such a big deal. And now I'd like to invite the winners of the 2022 Nobel Prize in Physics to the stage. For, um, for... Yeah, look, it's a bit hard to sum up what these three scientists have discovered about something called quantum entanglement because apparently they haven't quite worked out how to explain it simply themselves. Uh, uh, maybe uh, nature does not consist of stuff. Congrats anyway. OK, I can't explain why they won, but I can explain what they won. The Nobel Prize was started way back in 1901 by an inventor named Alfred Nobel. His most famous invention was dynamite. But he didn't want a deadly weapon to be his legacy. So, with his fortune, he set up an annual series of prizes across a wide range of categories. Bob Dylan won for his poetic expression through music. Sir Alexander Fleming won for his breakthroughs with antibiotics. And Murray Curie won for discovering radioactivity. She actually won twice, by the way. The prizes are decided by a panel in Norway and the winners take home a gold medal and a whole lot of cash. But better get back to it. South Australia has been hit by some wild weather and experts reckon the East Coast might be next. Thousands of people in South Australia woke up without power this morning after yesterday's big storm, which caused blackouts, tore down trees and even shattered the glass of some high-rise buildings. While things seem to be settling down now in SA, experts have warned record-breaking weather and floods may be coming to parts of the East Coast, with a month's worth of rain expected to fall in just a few days. What's a cat's favourite day? cat -a day <laughs> You like that one? Nope. Sorry. It's actually cat con day. But what is that? Yep, I'm for real. This is cat con. It's a convention in California that perfectly combines pop culture and cat culture. It's where people can dress up as cats. They're just perfect. They're like little mini people. And buy or sell cat things. I love cats. It's what it's all about. I wear nothing but cat shirts, hang around with cat people, uh, collect cat figurines. And not to let the cat out of the bag, but social media superstar Bowie the Siberian also made an appearance. He's here today for a cat con and he's going to do meet and greets. And um, he's a little nervous right now, but <laughs> we'll get there soon. There's even an art show paying tribute to US actor Nicolas Cage and his love for cats. My best friend is a cat, and his name is Merlin. Wow, what an honour. I guess a lot of things are possible at CatCon. Who's your favourite BTN reporter, hey? There's only one right answer, by the way. All of us! <laughs> Speaking of fan favourites, let's check out these next stories. <laughs> Good one, right guys? <laughs> All of these movie props, costumes and memorabilia could be yours for the tall, tall price of just 20 million bucks. They're going up for auction in London as part of the big annual prop store sale. This original Superman costume is expected to fetch up to $800,000. This first edition Harry Potter book, upwards of 200,000. And Yoda's robes, well, steal his look for just 100K. It's a bargain at this point. This might be the world's most iconic sign, and right now, it's getting a bit of an update. Every 10 years, the famous Hollywood sign in LA gets a fresh coat of paint to keep it nice and bright. But this one's especially special. It's the last time it'll be repainted before the sign's 100-year anniversary next year. And finally, the Royal Australian Mint has just released a brand new coin to celebrate the ABC's 90th birthday, featuring all of the ABC's fan favourites. But hang on, I don't see BTN anywhere. Wait, where's BTN? You're joking. That's it. Here, Royal Mint, you can take this design for free. Please make it, and then we can be friends again. <sighs> well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.